Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will see how we can navigate from LWC component to another LWC component. So let me show you in my org what I'm talking about. So here in my org, I have already created and added a LWC component on home page which contains a text box and button. So now let's say we have a requirement to open another LWC component here. Once we click on this button like this, now you can see another LWC component here and also we will see how we can pass parameters as well. For example, let's say we want to pass value of this text box to another component. Like let's say we have some text here and while redirection, we also want to pass the text to another LWC component like this. Now you can see the text here, right? So this is a general requirement which we face many times while working on applications. But you might be thinking that what is big deal here and we can simply navigate using navigation mixing service. So the answer is yes, we can navigate using navigation services. But the problem is LWC components are not URL addressable, which means we can't directly refer LWC components in URL unlike Aura components. I mean, we can directly use Aura components in URL if that component implements Lightning is URL addressable interface and we don't have any such kind of interface to implement in LWC. It means with name, we can't directly navigate to LWC component using navigation services. All right. And now let's see what all possible solutions we have to achieve this requirement. So generally we can use LWC components almost everywhere in Salesforce. But if we talk about how to redirect LWC component to another LWC component, then most relevant we have three ways, where first way is using custom tab. I mean, we can create a lightning component custom tab and select our component in that tab and on button click to redirect and open that component. We can use navigation services and write code like this where type is standard name item page and here we can provide our tab name, right? So this is the first approach, but here we need to create additional custom tab and sometimes we don't want to create new tab due to any reason like our deployment steps will increase. I mean while deployment, we need to take care of that tab as well and there may be any other reason to not create custom tab. So in that case, you can use second approach where after creating LWC component, we have to wrap that component into Aura component. And if you implement Lightning is URL addressable interface in Aura component, then using this code, we can redirect user on Aura component and which contains our LWC component as child. And here in navigation service, we need to use standard component as type and we can directly pass Aura component name here with C underscore underscore prefix because EGURL addressable interface allows that functionality. Okay. But again, in this approach also, we have to create additional Aura component and that we obviously won't like to create for just redirection, right? Then if you don't want to create any additional component, in that case, you can use third approach to redirect directly on LWC component using navigation services. But as we have discussed, LWC components are not URL addressable, which means we can't navigate by using component name, but still we have a way to achieve this requirement and that we will see today in this video. So now let's open our VS code and see this third approach in practical. And in this video, we are not practically looking into about two approaches. So if you want me to cover them as well, then do let me know in the comments, okay? And now here we will require two LWC components. First will contain a text box and button and second on which we will redirect, right? So let's create first component now and name it navigation button. And here first let's write HTML markup to show that text box and button. All right, so I have added basic HTML markup for input text and button. 
So here first we have added lightning card to show background white and also added this title and under this card we have added a lightning layout and also added a CSS class to show some padding and now under this layout we have added two lightning layout one for text box and another one for button and also added button and text box markup right and let's also assign size attribute to lightning layout items now we have divided equal space for text box and button okay and now what we want to do we want to redirect on another button on clicking of this button so first let's create on click handler for this button and then we will create lwc component okay we have added on click listener on button and assigned this handler method and also created this handler method into js file where we will write actual code to redirect but before that let's create another component where we want to redirect okay we have created another component as well and now it's time to write code so here in navigate handler method first we need to create component definition on which we want to redirect so let's declare a javascript object to hold component definition and here in component dev property we need to provide our component name so in our case component name is navigate demo and additionally if you want to pass any parameters then we can pass those as a attributes so let me create attributes property here this will also be object type property and from here we can pass additional attributes to our new component where we will redirect so as part of this demo we want to pass that username text box value so first let's read the text box value here okay I have added LWC reps attribute on lightning input and provided username as value and in javascript file this is how we can read controls value with the help of reps and here I am passing username variable value into username property or parameter and now to pass this component definition to navigation service first we need to encode it into base64 so let's convert this component definition into base64 okay so using this window method we can convert any string into base64 so here using json.string file we have converted our object into string and using this method we have converted that string into base64 and now it's time to use navigation mixing service so first let's import that from module And if you want to use navigation service in LWC component, then we need to use navigation mixing here with lightning element. Okay, and now let's write code to navigate on our component. okay so here in lwc navigation services supports many kind of navigations like navigate to record page custom application custom tab list view related list and external url so in this case we will use external url and for that we have standard web page as type so we have used that here because redirecting on lwc component is not a built-in feature so here we are just using web page as type and providing our old one app url and appending component definition base64 which means we are only providing our org url and appending component definition at last okay so when we hit this url on browser then salesforce will decode our component definition and render that component on browser okay and now let's make some changes on other component as well to receive this username and to show on ui so now here if you want to receive that username parameter value then here we need to create public username property using api decorator like this 
and now let's print this into HTML. Okay, so what I've done here, I have created a public username property in JS file using API decorator and showing this on HTML file. Okay, and now I think we are done with code and before deployment, let's update metaconfig file of this navigation button component because we will add this component on our home page. So first let's mark this expose true, then add targets for home page. Okay, and now let's deploy these both components. And metaconfig changes are not required on this navigation demo component. Okay. All right, deployment is done. Now let's open our another org where I have just deployed them. And here first let's add that component here on home page. And here let's find our component into custom components category. Here it is. And now let's drag and drop it on page. All right, we have added our component on page. Now let's click on save and click on activate. And now let's click on bake. All right, now we can see our component here with text box and button. Though this button is not coming into the alignment of text box, we can add margin top class, but yeah, it's fine for now. And now to test this functionality, let's type something in this text box like hello world and click on this navigate to LWC button. Perfect. We have redirected on our LWC component along with input parameters, right? And in future, if you have such kind of scenarios, then you can use this approach and I will upload this code on GitHub. So you can take reference from there. So I think that's it for this video. And in next video, I will cover how you can work with Salesforce tabs from LWC components, like how you can open or close a tab or how you can open sub tab and how you can get list of all the open tabs and how you can change your tab label and icon. So how you can do these kind of things from LWC that we will cover in next video. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you next video.